I have never been to a wedding where I haven't cried. Look, at, he's already well enough oh, over I'm here. I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sorry. I've never been to a wedding where I haven't cried. I don't think I cried at the birth of my children. What does this say about the two of us? <laughs> I don't know, sweetheart, but I hope we can get through this. Uh, that's the happy couple. Oh. 13 million people watching Roberto Martinez pop the question to Ali Feretowski. When, by the way, when do you go Feretowski to Martinez? You dropping the Fedotowski? We'll yeah, that'd be good. We'll that's see. a good one. I'm dropping the Fedotowski. Are you kidding? I've been waiting my whole life to drop the Fedotowski. I think she's still beaming. She still looks so Wait. good about all this. Like, you just still look like a, a lady in love. I am in love. I hope it stays that way forever. Yeah. I kind of think it's like, it's hard to come down, though. The cameras and they, they got you in all these hot tubs seem to wheel out at the right time. And all these, these exotic locations. It's so funny because everyone asks that, but actually the thing that we crave the most is the downtime. Like staying home, like even this coming weekend, I'm like, oh, babe, I think we're going to have to go do this. And he's like, I just want to stay in at home and hang at home. And so we're like really trying to make that a priority, even though we have so many other things going on. Tons, including playing in a wedding. Now, initially, yeah. you weren't going to do this maybe for the, for the television. Well, actually, at the very beginning, I was like, why not? I'm totally going to do it. And then now I've realized, since I've said that, it's been like, wedding, 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 wedding. And I'm like, okay, if everyone stopped asking about the wedding, maybe I'd have time to plan the wedding. But uh, I don't know. It's a hard decision. We just want to make the right one. Do oh, you, you haven't pressure? decided yet. I thought it's already oh, done. No, we don't know if we're going to do oh, it. Oh, this is happening. you got to have them give you a big old wedding, take the yeah. money, let them pay for everything. It's happening. Right. It's that, right? I mean, come on, but it does. You're a smart girl. Let them do this for you. Bank the money. That's your house. That's your future. Yeah, but I think actually a lot of people, like, <laughs> I think a lot of people, like, are, because of, you know, follow our story, are willing to sort of help us with the wedding. So I think I would be able to sort of get off that and not necessarily have to do it on TV. What do you mean? Donations from viewers? Billy's from got friends, 20 yeah, bucks. Yeah, like, friends, viewers, like, fans, like, they've been so wonderful. I've gotten so many offers to sort of, oh, can we do your invitations? Can we do this? Can we do that? Right. And so I feel like I can sort of get it all done and maybe keep it private. So we don't know. What we're seeing, that when there's a good possibility, we will. There's a good possibility. What's it like when the two of you just go out? Let's say it's Sunday morning, you want to go for breakfast. Like, what do people, they must come up to you all the time. What do they say? Oh, God. I mean, usually they're just nice and just say, we, oh, we loved you. And they're always like, I was rooting for you, Roberto. And Roberto's like, I wonder how many people actually were rooting for me. <laughs> so everyone's super friendly and nice. We're, it's always a great time. Has anything look at this. Wait, first of all, look at, I, I mean, I still I, just, I, I, do you forget <laughs> the cameras are on you? Oh, yeah. When you're with someone that you're falling for, you forget. You know, if anything, when I noticed the cameras were there during the show, then I knew that person wasn't right for me. Look, you guys will make out anywhere. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like suspended over a building. Are you kidding me? Out. I would try to, like, sneak it when the cameras weren't rolling. I'd be like... <laughs> is <laughs> is Roberto still as uh, romantic? as Because this is when you start finding out the little habits that guys have he's, that maybe aren't so great. He's so romantic. It's insane. Like, I'm like, how do you exist? You know, we need to, like, clone you so other women can have men like you. It's like, literally, we'll get out of the car and he'll pick me up and carry me into the grocery store. What I'm like, him? Roberto, I'm like, put me down. So, like, it's he's really great. You gave him the first rose you could tell that connection as a viewer watching did you ever just whisper to him maybe after like one of those bottles of champagne i love how they gave you all alcohol the whole time <laughs> did you ever whisper like you're the one don't worry honey like hang in there or anything no i didn't want to do that because there were other people there and i still really need to explore everything else and i didn't want to be i wouldn't want to waste anybody's time and not be fair to the other guys but did you know in your gut i think i, I mean yeah roberto yeah. is the good guy uh did you have your share of bad boys along the way on the show or I mean like in life, life. Did, you, did you date any bad boys and get all that out of your system so you could really be happy with the good guy yeah I don't really think I didn't date bad boys per se like no Tommy Lee's Tommy Lee oh, no. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was leading to that I by didn't the way bad boys you. like that but I did uh, even, even though after this I'm sure everyone will be saying you're Tommy Lee and Ali just going behind the curtains back um, but yeah I mean I definitely tried. Tommy she looks tense give her a massage she's not mad <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Look at Billy stirring it up this morning. Um, Roberto's saying he gets one step closer. Roberto's so cute. And you're, with, you're with the athlete. I love that. He's like athletic and sweet and smart. Yeah, he's really great. Are you so glad? Can we just break this down that you didn't get with Jake? Like, thank goodness you let that loony bird go. I mean, I'm sorry, but like, he's, he's a can needy. full of crazy. And you, uh, you know, chose work, thank goodness, over Jake. That's just my opinion. No comment? <laughs> Crickets. I think Jake's a nice Let them guy. I think I really I think he's a nice guy. I just think, you know, when you're in a bad relationship, sometimes you do things you wouldn't normally do. And I think he lost his temper at one point, but I just think he's a nice guy. <laughs> we yeah. love that. When I think he's just needier than the, when, when the man is needier than the woman, it's, it's, it's tough. The women don't want that, right? He's a little needy for you. You might 
had never have been able to. You know, what? I think that's I think that's better than having a guy that doesn't want you. You know, I'd rather have a guy be there too much than not be there at all. Allie, you handled that like a pro. I put you on the hot seat. You handled that great.